Sewing on cards and scrapbook pages is one of the hottest techniques around, and one of the best sewing machines for the job is the Janome Sew Mini. You may have purchased one of these machines and found it easy to use, but for those of you whose machine still looks like this, I'm going to help you break your fear of sewing, and in the next 15 to 20 minutes, you'll be sewing on your projects too. So let's begin with step one, taking it out of the box. Now that the sewing machine is out of the box, let me show you everything that's included. Of course, you get the Janome Sew Mini sewing machine. This black piece is the power supply. This is the pedal, and the pedal is the thing that you step on and it makes the sewing machine go. You also get two bobbins, and you can purchase extra bobbins to make extra colors, but two is plenty to get you started. You get a needle threader to make threading the needle easier. You also get a spare needle in case you break one or it gets dull. You get a warranty card that you just fill out and send back. And then you also get an instruction booklet. Now the only additional items that you're going to need is thread. So I suggest that you pick up thread in neutral shades such as white, cream, brown, black, colors that will go with any cards that you're making. And then maybe get a few of your favorite bright colors to complement your favorite pattern papers and card stocks that you have. Now next I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the machine. The first thing you need to do is plug it in and get it ready to go. So you're going to take your power supply and you'll see on the side where the wheel is, you're going to see two holes. Now the one that's black is the one that the power supply goes into. And then this end gets plugged into your wall. Then you have a hole up here and that's your pedal hole. You're going to attach your pedal into there and then this pedal is going to be put on the floor underneath your workspace. And you're going to step on it to make the machine go. Now in the back here, you've got the part where the thread goes. Just pop that forward like that and you'll be ready to put your spool of thread on. And then you'll also notice that there might be a piece of paper just protecting your presser foot. So right here is the little thing that raises up the presser foot. You're just going to lift that up and you're going to pull the paper out from underneath. And the presser foot is only going to be put down when you're actually sewing. Otherwise, you can leave that up all the time. Okay, so now we're going to change the camera angles because I'm going to show you how to thread the bobbin, how first to wind the bobbin, and then how to thread the machine. So stay tuned for that coming up next.